What's good everybody? Welcome to Bowler's Paradise. My name is Ben. I'm a USB-C Silver Certified Coach and today we are taking a look at the all new Raptor Fury from Motive. Before we get going, be sure you're subscribed to the channel. It's free, it's easy, and it's the best way that you can help us bring you the best non-biased and cross-brand reviews in bowling. And while you're down there, be sure you hit that notification bell too so you don't miss out on the next review. Following in the footsteps of the Sky Raptor, Motive introduces the all new Raptor Fury to the top of their performance chart. This red symmetrical monster gives Motive an option they haven't had in their line since they discontinued the Forge Flare back in 2021. On the outside, it features the Leverage XFS solid cover, which is derived from what was used on the Jekyll Ambush, finished to 2000 grit out of the box. On the inside is the same Affliction V2 symmetrical core with a low 2.48 RG and a high 055 differential. For the layout, I went with a 5x5x2.5 five by five by two 2LS layout. To be honest, I've struggled to find layouts that work really well on Motive pieces, but this one has been very reliable for benchmark style pieces across all the brands. As every layout has its trade-offs, this one does take some of the overall hook potential out of the ball, but it gains versatility and control from the foul line to the pins. And on the lanes, this thing is the Rev Dominant Bowler's dream solid symmetrical piece. The Raptor Fury pretty much stuffed 10 straight back every single time I threw it slow and gave it a whole handful of revolutions, and even got away with a few off hits when I was nice to it at the bottom of my swing. Even though it was a bit cleaner through the front part of the lane than say a phase two, it still provided a good balance of control off the spot with continuation through pins. And that's probably my favorite part about this one for Motive. Even though the Raptor Fury creates a shape we've definitely seen before from other manufacturers, it's a shape that's been sorely lacking within the Motive lineup. This one is a great option as a strong benchmark style piece, and for the guys and gals out there that only throw Motive balls, the Raptor Fury is in that must-have category. But no ball is perfect at everything, and even though this one is going to be added to a lot of arsenals, there are a couple downsides to it. One, it seems to be tailor-made for versatility, but the Raptor Fury doesn't really impress me as a versatile piece. Although it is a benchmark style piece, it's going to have a sweet spot on the lane and forcing it into different zones and tricking it probably won't work too great. The second downside is the cover material. In these test shots, it felt like it shined up pretty quickly. So if you want to keep the performance up on this one, I'd recommend you add a 2000 grit Aberlon pad to your bag to keep the cover fresh. And then when you're adding it to an arsenal, I'd recommend pairing it with the Black Venom and either the Crimson Jackal or the Nuclear Forge. The Black Venom has a similar cover, but a significantly different core. So you'll be sure to have a look inside and outside of where that Raptor sweet spot is. And when the lanes start to get toasty, you can go to one of the Pearl options where those that prefer ASIMs can get the Jackal out and those that prefer symmetrical pieces, the Nuclear Forge. Looking at our cross-brand comparisons, I first took a look at the Piranha Power Core from Columbia 300, and here you can see that the Piranha is just a bit cleaner and more angular than the Raptor. Having that HK22 base material allows the Piranha to be more effective through oil, but also causes it to roll out more when experiencing early friction, so the Raptor is a more ideal fit for rev dominant players, while balanced bowlers will appreciate the Piranha. Then I grabbed my Exponent from 900 Global, and even though the lower RG causes this one to spin a whole lot faster, you can see the difference in core and cover strength almost immediately. The Exponent is a full zone weaker than the Raptor, in overall hook potential and the shapes are just completely different. Maybe with a fresh surface the exponent would be closer, but it's nice to see the top end of Motive's line actually outhook this midline release from 900. But with that, here's my recommendations on the types of bowlers that I think would match up well with the Raptor Fury. The first should be no surprise in Rev Dominant players. Just like the Sky Raptor before it, the Raptor Fury likes to be thrown slow and spun fast. Rev dominant players and even two-handers will be able to match the surface grit of the Raptor to the conditions they're playing on, get into that sweet spot, and just start striking from the get-go on fresh. The second recommendation is for low speed players. 
One of the hardest recommendations to give is for players who struggle with lack of ball speed as most of the time they'll have pieces that either hook way too much or don't get through pins well enough to carry. The Raptor Fury will be a great choice for these players on fresh conditions as it does just about everything a low speed player wants a ball to do as long as they're willing to toy with the surface to get it to match up most effectively. The all new Raptor Fury for Motive brings a shape that's been missing from their line for quite some time and when you add it to your arsenal, you'll be sure to fly in some furious scores. And you can pick this up today and much more at BowlersParadise.com. Be sure you use that discount code YouTube at checkout for free shipping. Thank you to my friend Nick Pluck for the drilling of this piece and to Dales Weston Lanes for letting us film this video. If you haven't yet, like this video. Subscribe to the channel. Hit that notification bell for more ball and product reviews. But as always, remember you guys, having the right ball in your hands, now that's the Bowlers Paradise. Peace.